What is up everybody? It's easy. It's Street Gaming. And it's that time of year already. End of the year. I'm gonna do a couple of best of videos. This is best of ranked matches. We kind of threw together some. You may have seen one or two of these on the channel before. Some of them are brand new. Got some new heroes. First one is from Shadow Gypsy. This is the best overall team protection. And it's not what you think. Normally you wouldn't want to share protection. But this is actually... The whole team survives, and the, the the way they survive is all, basically it's it's all catfish, fighter, and, and the shield. The shield goes out to the lowest hit point person on the team. Uh, meanwhile, you get the you have uh, Blue Berserker healing up the team. It's a little bit of an older video, but still level 40, third awakened, uh, <clears throat> third awakened Berserker. Level, and also level, it looks like a level 40, oh no, it's a 27, so this is an older video, uh, an older replay, Le level 27, um, Catfish Fighter, so he's gonna get a lot stronger for, for Shadow, and a level, level 40 Thera, now, here I am, at, at least two years into the game, and I still don't have a Red God of Earth, I'll only have blue, that's, I don't know how to operate her yet. <laughs> anyway, he's up against a pretty pretty common team, but well managed. Uh, the you know, believe it or not, I think Catfish Fighter is got to be one of the uh, one of the sleeper uh, partners. Really, really strong with with the, because not only does he give you the shield, but he gives you a shield no matter what, even if he's stunned. Uh, the shield goes up on the lowest partner no matter what and it, it's not a 50 hit point or health point shield so comes through at the end basically takes out everyone in, in the last shot one two three winner shadow gypsy now this is a pretty quick replay right here this is the best team attack by one partner and this is the third awakened scarecrow and the reaper cometh he already did his first shot and you notice that everyone's at about a quarter life and that this is his normal uh i don't know what it's called i, I think it's called uh the tornado even though i know it's not called the tornado but <laughs> that's what it looks like so best attack by by one partner uh, you'll notice that now with the third awakened scarecrow he went from obscurity to probably the strongest single attacker in the game and I'll probably be corrected by that about 50 times because because <laughs> as other as other heroes get to the third awakening I'm, I'm sure that we'll we'll have some uh, some gaps closed right now there's a big gap between the the green scarecrow and, and several other of our top performers which I'm surprised So, next is from Boars, it's the best overall st speed team, and this, I've got a couple of replays from the same team. You'll notice that this is, he's not up against a really high-end uh, opponent, but that will change in the next replay. But, between, this is a combination of, a combination of success, and I'll, I'll tell you a story about Boars. Um, very high profile player in our, in our server 323, but he's, he constantly will inform us that he hadn't had much luck with partners he doesn't have two blue he's been playing a long time he's a hundred million uh, power player doesn't have uh he doesn't have the three god of earth team or the three uh, nomad teams that you see a lot of real successful uh top hundred players use so he's had to kind of invent success and he did it by paying close attention to all the all the abilities in these third awakened partners and he's got the third awakened red and green dragon together and just the two of them the the at third awakening for the red dragon dragon man he has a, a huge speed boost so he's one of the fastest partners there is plus he does the lava spout which which slows the team then you have the wild roar from the green dragon man which speeds the team then you have the the leader ability of the uh, blue black shaman which is a speed boost and you have the heating soul which can stun and then you have the prophecy the prophet which i don't even know what she does so i won't even pretend i do 
<laughs> but between the four of them, what a great team! And these aren't these aren't any one particular, you know, top end top end uh, uh, partners. There's no Blue Nomad in there. There's no uh, Red God of Earth. And it, there's no Green Scarecrow. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. And yet, we have a top hundred performer, in my opinion. Another win by Boars. And here's another great team. This is what I call the best retaliation team. It's by Nadas. Hope I pronounced that right. Probably not. But you have the Red Nomad King and the the new Bape. And the Bape has what's called Inspiration. Inspiration does like this uh, the extended healing. And it also does retaliation. I think it's like a 20% retaliation, but it seems like it, it's constantly retaliating. Uh, she also has the, the green, the, the the red flower, which you don't see that very often. But um, using the red flower in there in there as well, and it does real well too. It, it lasts a long time. But also with uh, with red nomad king. Who's notorious now? I, I don't know what her war patterns are. I'm gonna assume that her war pattern is gonna be what everyone else does, and he has Ian on a uh, red nomad. We'll see if he catches any damage, and if he's recovering every single time he hits. If he if he does, then he's got the Ian war pattern. And now, if you if you see who's left, you have both of your retaliation. Uh, Nomad has the Ever Victorious. That's the name of his uh, ability that has the retaliation attached to it. And look at this. Right now, she's down four against two. Now four against three. And this is where you see the retaliation really comes into effect, uh, plays into effect, especially in. The, I, I didn't see any hit, uh, health points, which you know I've been saying hit points this whole time. Uh, it's actually health points. But I do believe that I just saw, I don't know what I just saw. <laughs> you know, this is one of those things where you're, I, I think you're just supposed to have a better understanding of what's going on before you actually roll the video and do the voiceover, but I don't ever do that. <laughs> Which is better than what I've seen other people do, I'm just going to say that. But this is another good example of how... the. There was no healers in this lineup at all and up against two healers uh, up against the the red guitarist who's a who's a strong healer and the and the blue berserker both strong healers and speaking of that this is the best sleeper team or the most underestimated team this is back with boar's team with the, the speedster team and up against a, a fairly popular combination, especially up in a, on the top end of, of, of ranked matches. And, uh, and and that's with Blue Nomad, Red Thera, or Red God of Earth, uh, Blue Colonel, Red Guitarist, two strong healers. So uh, in case you can't read the small writing on the left, it says Boar's speed, speed Team, not even considered to win against Red God of Earth, Blue Nomad, and two healers. But speed really does kill. Going all the way back to my driver's ed class. <laughs> but this is another prime example of how the right combination of partners can can really complement each other. Because you have first as a team leader, you have the speed bonus that the black blue shaman, blue black shaman gives you. And then you have two speedsters. One gives it has the wild roar which gives the whole team a speed boost and then one has the the lava spout who just went down bit the dirt but that gives slow that do, that does this has a slow effect and then you have the prophet which i still haven't figured out exactly what she does but she does a lot of damage when she when, when she ha hits the whole team with that real colorful attack she does i believe it's called prophecy and i believe she steals someone's uh I, I believe she steals someone's buff as well I gotta look into that a little better as always did a lot of research for this one <laughs> so now down to down to blue nomad and it seems like right at the end uh 
the black blue shaman really knows how to well it's backwards the blue black shaman starts really putting it on him he's doing seven eight thousand damage and if you notice with the third awakened uh blue black shaman his single target attack does no no longer just hits one time it can hit up to four or five times so here's cut this this is cuts and this is the best steal from a third awakened team now he does have that a level 40 demon killer that that is third awakened but he's up against the the blue black shaman he's up against uh, a red card of earth and a green dragon man all third awakened and then he's also up against uh, uh, a green prince uh, desert prince that's got the saya pattern on him which is exactly what I've done although mine's not uh, quite the same <laughs> Working on him though, I think he's gonna be my next my next six star. I've seen a lot of them in the top three. Although I've also seen a lot of the ghost, which I have overlooked him as a as an important uh, partner. So first nomad goes down. Cuts has two blue nomads, which um, I I also have two. You know I I went a year and a half and didn't get a blue nomad. Then I got two within the same week. Uh, I've got one at 40 and one at 35 and I, I think I've kind of neglected the 35 I've tried different war patterns on them and the one that I've tried An off set of war patterns I, I, normally people get uh, blue nomads health points at like a 20,000 bonus and mine's at like seven so I definitely did something wrong <laughs> and uh, because they're all level 12 or 13 war patterns even though they're not the most effective I'm going to have to wait until the event to take off the war patterns to, to strip them down and get them right now you know, a quick one two cuts comes right back his team's pretty hurt but now it's basically one against three and takes out the last now this this is actually really amusing I got this replay from bringer of death this is the best partner living up to the player's name and this is it's gonna come down to to one partner having to carry it for the whole team and if you're gonna have one partner that has to carry it for the whole team honestly other than other than the, the red nomad king which with the Ian e pattern is constantly rejuvenating himself although there's a bunch of there's a bunch of partners that do that the the, the demon uh, killers do it all of them and the blue nomad does it too I believe they get hit points back or health points back every time they strike but not quite the same as the green catfish hunter it's not, not his name the green catfish fighter <laughs> that if he's the last partner alive gives himself a shield after every attack and that's a that's a potent defense is to put up a shield because um, most of your heroes can't p punch through it in, in one in one attack unless it's a critical rate attack so it's also good to see uh, bringer of death much more known for his player versus player uh, attacks on the strongholds than he is in the partner game but now it's starting to bring his partner game up a little, so I'm getting a lot more replays from him. So you guys will see a little more from him as time goes on. And I know this is all 323, uh, the server 323. And I have a bunch of replays from the other servers that, that I'm in. Uh, I just don't have access to them all right at the moment. So I, that's why this, this video is all 323. Before the year's out, I will have some of the guys from the other servers that I'm in. Uh, I know I've had questions and there's some, a couple guys that want to get on to the channel and I, I'll get everyone in as best I can so came all the way down to it looked like it was gonna be three on one and then in that one earthquake two two out of the three goes down now it's just now I wouldn't pick the I wouldn't pick the catfish fighter over over the the green demon killer either green demon killer has much more of an arsenal but not when you can't get through a shield and he really made pretty easy work of him and for the la last one of the video best fight with one foot in the grave 
this I may have shown this on the channel before. This may have been the best fight that I've ever seen, at least from my team. And I didn't save the best for last just because it was for me, but this has got to be one of the best uh, come from behind attacks I've ever seen. And in case you can't read the bigger writing, every once in a while, the Nomad will give his This is why I'm the king speech. And it was heard loud and clear in this battle. And what I want you to do is pay very close attention to how much health he has when he, st when he starts his comeback. As it is right now, both teams are pretty healthy. Then Reaper cometh comes and co pretty much knocks everyone out. He takes that one strike on the on the green scarecrow, takes him out, which which man, I'm glad. But down to zero health, gets 667 back right there. And luckily, he only takes 313, 311 damage from the green from the green demon killer. Then throws a 7,000 attack, and that's a that's three for three, three attacks in a row, knocks out three three partners. And I didn't think I was going to throw a, a 15,000 attack on the Blue Nomad. <laughs> so we're going to have to beat on him for a little while with everybody. But I do believe at the end, Red Nomad is going to do us all a favor and take him out. So that's, that's the video. I just want to thank everyone. I don't, I don't put down how many subscribers we have on the channel because I don't want it to be about that. But I was really surprised how well the channel did this year I just can't thank everyone enough uh, have a lot going on for next year already so can't wait till next year looking forward to seeing everybody next year till then it's been easy take care everybody